Good morning, booktube, youtube. This is Johnny. It's been three or four days since I made a video. Since I am alone this morning, my wife has left for um, church. It is November the 5th, 2023. It is 9.07 in the morning here in West Michigan. It is a sunny, partly sunny, late fall, autumn day here in West Michigan. We live very close to Lake Michigan. And I told Carol this morning, I should go out to the lake and see a body of water. I haven't seen a body of water in a long time. So, but uh, yeah, I, I like going out to the lake in autumn and taking photos with my camera. Uh, there's parks by the lake, really nice parks. And, uh, but it takes a lot of energy for me to get moving. <laughs> I don't really like going anywhere. Well, I did, uh, Friday there was a bazaar here in Holland at uh, Freedom Village, which is a retirement uh, complex that you can live there and you can die there. <laughs> they have a, a wing in their Freedom Village where you, they take care of people who you can, you buy into it, you live there and then when you get sick, there's a part, it's like a hospital or they take care of you. Anyway, they have a bazaar and they sell books. So I went there Friday and I bought some books. There wasn't that many books, but I bought a few. And then right next, right next by Freedom Village is called Windmill Island Gardens, which is, um, it has a windmill in there like you'd see there in, in the Netherlands. And I did take a walk there. I haven't walked at Windmill Island in ages, but it was a nice late, autumn day and I took photos and so I've been thinking about doing that this morning going to a park and taking some more autumn late autumn photos but I'm not sure but this is uh, what I'm gonna be reading in the new week ahead of what some I'm just gonna show you some stuff I got in the mail what I'm reading just kind of rambling here this morning in my paper diary, I'm on page 976 for the year 2023. Yeah, I should hit 1,000 maybe this month, page 1,000 for the year 2023. I usually write around 1,100, 200 pages a year. So what have I been reading? Or well, first of all, I'm going to show you CDs. <laughs> I showed you Sonic Youth uh, because I've been reading. Uh, I haven't read last couple of days, but I've been reading Thorson Moore, who is the one of the founding members of the new No Wave <laughs> punk experimental avant-garde underground rock noise rock group. Sonic Youth, which broke up, I think, in 2011, after 30 years of being together. You know the whole story. But I've been reading this, Thorson Morris, uh, Sonic Life, a memoir. And I showed you in my recent video my Th Sonic Youth CD collection and Thorson Moore's uh, solo projects. I got in the mail the new Super Chunk anthology singles b-side strays from 2007 to 2023 super chunk is one of my favorite kind of rock indie punk groups and i thought i'd show you my sonic youth collection no not sonic youth my super chunk collection super chunk this is a super chunk cup of sand two CD collection of singles, B-sides, rarities, and unreleased tracks. This one came out in 2003. And then I have uh, Tossing Seeds, singles, 
89 to 91 by Super Chunk. This came out in, when did this one come out? 1991. This is, uh, I think, their last full album, Super Chunk, Wild Loneliness, 2022. Super Chunk, Majesty Shredding. This one came out in 2010. There's a picture of the band. Super Chunk, I Hate Music, 2013. And then... Super Chunk, On the Mouth. This is, uh, I didn't say what year this one came out. It doesn't say, I can't see it, but this is On the Mouth. Super Chunk Here's to Shutting Up. This 2001 Super Chunk. Foolish Super Chunk. This is 1994. Super Chunk 1997. Indoor Living. Yeah, I really like Super Chunk. Uh, 2018 What What a Time to Be Alive. Super Chunk, Super Chunk, 1991, No Pocky, No Pocky, Pocky for Kitty, Pocky, 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 Super Chunk, Here's Where the Strange, here, Here's Where the Strings Come In, uh, 1995, Super Chunk, 1999, Come Pick Me Up, Super Chunk, Incidental, in, Incidental Music, 1991 to 95, Super Chunk. So that's my Super Chunk collection. Super Chunk, I got this in the mail. Also, the singer for, the lead singer and one of the guitarists of Super Chunk, his name is Mac McCullen. He, he does solo, this is his solo album. He also did Under Polyastic, there's a picture of him. This is his album, Bright Ideas, Polyastic, Be Still Please, Polyastic. He's the lead singer for Super Chunk. This is Porta Elastic, small, some small history. Porta Elastic, this comes out in 2003. Porta Elastic, The Summer of the Shark. Porta Elastic, I Hope Your Heart Is Not Brittle. This is, what year is this one? Yeah, they started their own label, Merge Records, Super Chunk, and now they're a big, big major indie label. Then I have, lastly, Poriastic, uh, Autumn Was a Lark. So that's my Super Chunk collection in Poriastic. So what uh, I uh, so what I get in the mail? I did get. I showed you I was going to get a Christian book in the mail. And this is what I got in the mail this week. Dictionary of New Testament Use of the Old Testament. This is a companion volume to commentary on the New Testament use of the Old Testament. And they just came out with this dictionary of the New Testament use of the Old Testament. So, these go together. This is a good, because one thing about the Bible, the Bible is one unity. It has a unifying structure to it. The new quotes from the Old Testament. So, to understand the New Testament, you've got to understand the Old Testament, because there's all these allusions. And when you read the New Testament, especially in the Gospels, all the all the prophecies are being fulfilled about the birth of the Messiah, 
the coming of the kingdom and uh, the, the pouring out of the Holy Spirit and the new covenant and the new exodus and Jesus being the, the second Adam and being the new Moses. You see the Sermon on the Mount takes you back to when Moses and Mount Sinai delivering the tablets of stone, the Ten Commandments and all these parallels and allusions and quotes and it's that's what these are about so they're really good tools to understand the new testament uh special dictionary of the new testament use of the old testament this is edited by jk beal d.a carson benjamin l glad and andrew david nasali and this is editors is by gk beal and d.a carson so, got those. And I also got in the mail the, the last novel by Nell Zink, Avalon. I've shown her over the years uh, the novels of Nell Zink. Her last one was Dexology. And then she put out... Uh, her first novel she put out was The Wall Creeper by Nell Zink. And then she put out Mislaid Nell Zink. And then she put out Nicotine by Nell Zink. I've, I've read her novels. She's uh, just somebody I read. She also put this out, Private Novelist Fiction by Nell Zink. So then I got her last one, Avalon, which I haven't read yet. I'm almost, I, I was reading Doxology and then I put it aside, but I've been reading it, uh, trying to finish it so I can get into her, her, her newest one. So that's Nell Zink. I really got into Nell Zink when I'm reading, she reminds me of Jonathan Lathan Forces of Solitude, which I'm trying to finish. Yeah, when I read Jonathan Latham, I think of Nell Zink. <laughs> and that's why I why I got this in the mail last week, so I could read it, because she reminds me of Forces of Solitude. Uh, also, I've been reading still, I've really enjoyed reading the letters of Gustave Faubert, uh, edited and translated by Francis Stella Meyer Moeller. These are really, I've really enjoyed reading these and keep reading them. I got this book in the mail last week and I've been reading it pretty, pretty much every day. It's a translation from Europia Editions uh, UK. I had to get this from Amazon UK. I couldn't get it in the United States. And so I got it in the mail last week and I've been reading it. This is Carlotta Gert. And I can't translate it from the Caltian, Caltian, Catalian, which is above Spain. It's See, no, I can't it. And I've been reading almost halfway through it. I've read almost 200, almost 180 pages of this. Yeah, I like the Europias. I have maybe 20 or 30 of these downstairs in the lower level. And they're basically a lot of translations from Germany, French, Italian, uh, all kinds of languages, uh, Japanese, but I really enjoy them. And the reason why this was translated by Adrian Nathan West, and I bought this several months ago. He translated The Garden of Seven Twilights by Manguel de Porla. P Pola? He translated this 
I haven't even begun to read this. Uh, I read about it and heard on booktube about it and I ordered it and I got it. I pre-ordered it and got it in the mail and I have not even began to read this massive thing. It's over 890, well 800 and 883 pages. I want to get into this. Maybe I will next year or sometime, but I really want to get into it. But he translated this. His name, this is how I found out. Uh, translated by Adrian Nathan West. Dark High Archive Press, which is one of my favorite publishers. Archive Press. So when I, I was reading his Adrian... Nathan West, he has a, a web, his own internet, internet site, and that's where I found out about this, that he translated this, so I've been reading it. So, as far as in the mornings, I've been reading, uh, I've still been reading Scripture, the Genesis of Doctrine. Volume 1 of a two-volume series, The Doctrine and Scripture in Early Christianity by Francis M. Young. So I've been reading that in the morning. And reading a lot of this in the morning, The Reformation as Renewal, Retrieving the One Holy Catholic Apostolic Church by Matthew Barrett. And I've been reading the Philokalia, the Holy of the Holy Nephilic, Nephilic Fathers, Volume Full Text, Volume Five. This is a damaged, incorrect edition. I contacted Amazon about it and said this is really a ripoff, and they refunded me the money. And even though the the pages are all wrong and the table of contents, uh, I still read it just because I like the mystical language. And I've been reading None But Christ by John Wall. This is a period in print, reprint. John Wall lived from 1646 to 1652. None But Christ. Uh, None But Christ, the full title is None But Christ, or A Plain and Familiar Treatise of the Knowledge of Christ, Exciting All Men to Study and Know Jesus Christ, Him Crucified with a Peculiar particular application and saving knowledge in diverse sermons upon 1 Corinthians 2, 2. And I've been reading The Cross of Jesus by Louis Chardin, OP, translated from the French. He lived from 1595 to 1651. He was a Dominican priest, mystic, and theologian. I'm all, I've been re I read this yesterday during watching college football all day on mute and I was reading him and I'm almost done with this. It's really important to read both these together, None But Christ and the Cross of Jesus. He's a Roman Catholic mystical theologian and he is a 17th century English Puritan gospel preacher. John Wall. Uh, so I've been reading those books, listening to Super Chunk, really enjoying reading the letters of Faubert, still reading Not to Read Essays by Al Gerardo, I can't pronounce this, Zambe. Still reading this. These are little essays, just two pages of essay, little things. Reading the book of Psalms, reading Holy Scripture, writing in my diary, listening to Super Chunk, reading Eastern Orthodox spirituality, reading 17th century English Puritan spirituality, reading Roman Catholic mystical theology, reading about early Christianity, hermeneutics, interpretation of scripture, 
the Apostles' Creed, the development of, of dogma, of doctrine, reading about the Protestant Reformation, I mean, Martin Luther King, Martin Luther, <laughs> the uh, German Protestant, uh, reading alone a novel by Carlotta Gert, and someday I'll read The Garden of Seven Twilights, translated by Ed Adrian Nathan West, written by Minguel de Dupala. So that's it. It's a new week. It's a Sunday. Monday will come, Tuesday will come, Wednesday, Thursday I have a dentist appointment, Friday Carol and I are going to an appreciation dinner for all the librarian, the library people who work at the public library here in Holland and volunteers, so we're going to go to that. And time keeps drifting by. The war rages in the Middle East, the war rages in Ukraine, global warming, there's insanity in Washington, D.C., Homeless is increasing, drug addiction, violence. People are killing each other. So pray, come Lord Jesus. So I hope you all had a good reading weekend. Hope you have a good new week. I did go to that bazaar at Freedom Village. I told you about the used books. I'll show those in a future video. I also went to thrift stores and got some used books that I'll show in future videos. And I got books coming in the mail this week, uh, Christian books from Reformation Heritage Books. So that's it. So once again, I thank you for the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. And I have been responding to old comments that were three years ago. So if you get a response from these, and I know it's kind of weird, but I told you in a, in a previous video that I was going to respond to all comments no matter how old they are. I don't know, for many, for a long time comments never showed up and then all of a sudden they, they started appearing. So now I try to respond to every comment with an intelligent response. So once again, thank you for watching. Do pray you have a good reading week. Keep writing, sing the Psalms, read the Psalms, read the, the Bible. Pray, seek the face of Christ, pray, oh come Lord Jesus quickly. Until next time, bye.